I'm Tony Slar with BNet TV. We are here at the SDP Global Summit in Rome 2012. I'm speaking with Huawei's Miss Susie Shea. How are you today? Yeah, I'm good. Yeah, it's pretty nice weather here. It's great weather here, and it's a great city, great food. Right. Yeah. It's so great culture here as well. <laughs> it's a great culture yes. here. For all of the people out there in BNet TV land, can you explain what Huawei is doing here and why it's important to be involved in the SDP Summit? Well, um, actually Huawei has been involved in the SDP Summit since, two, since 2009. Yeah, we have been here for many years, and SDP Summit is the only uh, typical SDP seminar in the world. And it's quite, how to say, it's quite, um, uh, it's quite focused, and a uh, lot of experts in this area, they came every year. So for Huawei as the major vendors in SDP area, because Huawei is leading the SDP market in the world. We are the number one position and the number one market share in the world. So we are sure to be here every year. Um, over the course of the last, let's say, five years, where the industry for SDP was quite small and there were a lot of new technologies coming to the marketplace, this year's summit's a little bit different because we've seen a lot of deployment and a lot of the topics of conversation seem to surround user interface, how to interact with the user, and then how to better that experience. What's Huawei doing to help that particular portion? Yeah, um, we see the challenges for the operators and they have a lot of enablers in their legacy network and they are facing many issues in integrate their enablers into their network and mm, to offer the services to the third parties. So we designed the architecture in a totally, um, how to say, the uh, modular design and SOA based to facilitate service innovation on top of the SDP. Do you feel that a lot of the services that are being offered are um, growing more on the consumer side or the enterprise side? Yes, nowadays there are many applications, especially for the OTT applications, can um, provide it not only from the like not only from the operators, um, mostly from the OTT vendors. But for SDP itself, the major functions for SDP should not just provide the service itself; it should be streamline the business flow for facilitating the service innovation. You bring up a really good point about the OTT players. A lot of the OTT players don't have any cost associated with uh, um, pushing their data to the end user, although the, the operator wants to be able to give those services to its user because it, there's more revenue base for that. When you look at the enterprise side of the equation, the operators, it looks like they stand to make more money because they're in control of the application. Yeah, you know, um, for operators, they are in very good position in between the um, end users or the enterprise XMEs and the service providers because they have very good credibility. They have uh, the very huge customer base and they have the network. Yeah, then it's, and it's quite good position for them to offer the services no matter for the end users or for the consumer, for the uh, enterprise XME services. So what are some of the things that you've announced here at this particular show, or that you're showing off? Uh, this year we are, uh, you know, SDP has been many years, and SDP is migrating to the cloud as well. Cloud is quite a hot topic. And we are also providing a vast transformation program, and um, the SDP will act as the major component in this program. And Huawei will also offer the uh, managed service. We call it managed vast service to provide to the service providers, uh, not only just the maintenance or the, uh, or the, uh, like the um, service control in the low level network. We also provide the service operation and the consulting services to the operators. It seems that the consulting services would be very much needed in, in the yes. ecosystem to make sure that there's no mistakes happen and that there's no latency too because at the end it's the customer experience that they want to make sure is really great. Uh, yes. Actually, um, SDP on um, SDP will be in a very uh, 
good position in providing the QS control to you. Fantastic. And then finally, just one last question, Susie. What are we going to see some wa from Huawei uh, in the SDP arena in the future? Um, I think, yeah, we are migrating the SDP to the cloud and in the future and for no matter for the end users, developers or the operators, they have more access to the cloud and they have more flexibility, scalability to um, enjoy the service innovation on top of SDP. Susie, thank you so much for talking with us here today at the SDP conference. I hope we get a chance to talk to you again in the future. Thank you so much. Yeah. I've, I've been speaking with Suzy Xie from Huawei here at the SDP Global Summit in Rome. I am Tony Sklar with BNET TV. Thank you.